My name is Matt Malone. I stream iRacing. Sometimes. When I get around to it. Hey, we had a uh, serious race on our hands right now. This is IMSA. We're at Road America, which is my one of my favorite tracks of all time. And I'm in the Ford GTE. It's a 45-minute race. There will be a pit stop just for fuel and a windshield tear-off. we got a lot of Beamers. I guess the BMWs and the Fords are pretty strong here this week. Uh, I would drive the Ferrari, but... Hey, there's a Porsche up there. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to try to do the best I can. Oh. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't popped over to my Twitch channel yet, it's just twitch.tv slash Matt Malone. People hang out. Um, I stream every once in a while. I'm a new dad, so it's tough. I'm busy breastfeeding most of the day. So here we go. I, it's a pretty high strength of field in relative to my uh, I rating. I'm the number 21 car. So I have the 21st best I rating of the people in this race, which means most everyone's better than me. But they don't have the wisdom of an old boomer like myself. So we'll see how that pays off. Couple DPs in the race, so they're way ahead. I don't know what the gap is, but we could get the green at any minute now. Looks like we're gonna try to do a standing start. They're going. All right, Matt. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go, go, go! Incident in turn 14. It looks like Aruju. <laughs> Some people aren't cut out for this type of racing. Pinto is now in the lead. I've been driven this car. For a while. Perfect start, mate. This is great. People said to drive the BMW. I don't like it. It's not enough character for me. Oh boy, this shall be fun. All right, careful now. See a wreck. Oh, the guy saved it, I guess. Ah, uh, well, then he's dead. We're driving it already. One in the books. Still alive. B14. Gotta find some pace though. The gap in front is now 0.7. Ford's a little tricky sometimes. 
The Raiders overheat quickly. Take care of them. Can't wait to see your wisdom. Yeah, how that's going to play out. Smooth, no mistakes. Okay, scaring me behind me. Oh, you're gonna need Sebring and Road America in your profile. Right side. Clear right. It looks a little different. It's because they updated it. <laughs> See. Wow, I'm slow. I'm trying to go faster. The gap in front is now 0.9. P15. Yeah, right, Generica. better on the brakes. The M3 
destroying my rear tires, I think. I gotta try to stay in this guy's draft. There's no all-wheel drive GT cars? No GT cars, I know that. The gap ahead is now 1.4 seconds. Love 46, dropping that raid like a legend that he is. Thank you so much, man. Hey, Love 46. Here I am. Picked up right where I left off. Last place. I can't get that corner, right? Who's that? Who's that? Who that? Dead Surrey. Dread Surrey. Thanks so much. Gifting a sub to love 46. All right. Taking an extra wide. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Zabzi. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I enjoy way more than the Ferrari around here than this guy. But I should have done in the Beamer, maybe, huh? it as much. Super high track. Oh, uh, yeah. The gap in front is now 2.2 seconds. All right, Matt. We're meeting the fuel. 31 minutes into the race. Thank you for the rain ribs. Appreciate it. Hope the stream went well. Wow, what a gaggle. Oh, what a gaggle. The gaggle's way up there. We're not a part of it. The Porsche up there, too, I think. He saw me and he went the other way. That's good. Thanks. Thanks for that. See, that's where the wisdom comes in. That's where the wisdom comes in.
14th. Hey, 14th is pretty good. I know, Axwolf. It's the only way I can pass people. Is <laughs> if they screw up. This thing does not like curves. Once it hits a curb, it slides around. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm pretty slow. fine. Everything is okay. Thank you, Love 46. Everyone's doing good. Cox, Thank you again. Getting closer. The gaps come down to 2.8. Matt Cox? Crazy. I'd be at least 10th place in second split, though, right? A figure eight track? I don't know. I'm driving the Ford GTE. Wish I could set a fast time and I wouldn't have to see all the green on turn one. Yeah, well, there was a lot more GTE cars, and they crashed out, so I'm not really second to last. Excuse me. Thanks for ruining my wrist. You're welcome. seen the new Ford Bronco. Hell yeah, dude. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. I like how they have the uh, the regular Ford Bronco. It's literally built on like a, I think they said the Ford Escape. It's literally like a Ford Escape, but it's a Ford Bronco. And then it's like, well, if you really, if you want a real Ford Bronco, these are the two that you really want. Not this one. <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I've never really been into like Jeeps or anything, so I don't really see the appeal. It doesn't seem like a practical vehicle for my lifestyle, but I can see how it's it's super cool, but I would never get one. Oh, you needed a puppy? The Frome Flyer. Yeah, it's my first time streaming. It's a Jeep thing, you wouldn't understand. I drive six miles in the city to work and back. It's a Jeep thing, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> One time I drove on a gravel road. It's a Jeep thing, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> the Captain Cox behind us now. 1.6 seconds. Oh, Matt Cox is coming up my backside. Wow. Yeah, I, I can't wait till. Uh, uh oh! Turn six. I 
can't wait till Doug DeMiro gets his hands on a, a Ford Bronco. That video is gonna get like 20 million views. Cause you know, the Ford God, Bronco's got a lot of quirks and features. My, uh, my boss just bought a brand new uh, GMC Sierra four door. Dude, these new pickup trucks they're building, they don't even fit in people's garages. The hood on them has got to be five feet. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's like... Thank you, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's freaking badass. I, love it. <laughs> I just can't believe how big they are. When you see one up close, you're like, holy crap. They're like 60 grand. Hey, we gotta make a pit stop soon, right? Or not for a while though. Ah, six laps, five laps. Yeah, I've always liked the new Ford F 150s, but man, after seeing that GMC Sierra, it's like. I don't know. I'm gonna run my Ford Escape into the ground. That's what I've decided. Runs great. We got 99,000 miles on it. No reason to upgrade. I'd say one of my wow. favorite features of the Matthew, 2008 congrats on Lil Ford Bagalese. Escape. Good to see you race and get any sleep lately. Oh, Frexis! The baby rage too much. A lot of baby rage, yeah. Dude. Hey, thanks, Frexis. I appreciate that. Eloise, like, sometimes acts like one of those uh, DP drivers that isn't quite quick enough to get ahead of the, uh, the slower class, and they just cry. <laughs> That's what she reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, everyone's good, man. Thank you. Oh, we got this guy. This is W A A A A A A Y faster than I was after first baby. Sleep deprivation costs at least four tenths. Yeah, it does. Rich Melbourne, thank you for the seven months. Now, I was going to say, uh, my favorite feature of my 2008 Ford Escape is, uh, I don't have to, I don't have to write a check every month. That's my favorite feature. Hello, defending on the inside. Can he hold it with his Ford? He's slipping and sliding around there. And the Porsche gets a hell of a run. Oh, Matt. Come on, mate. Defend your position. And we see... Matt Cox in his damaged Porsche is still faster than Matt Malone. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. You wanna race me? Play right. Hey! That wasn't nice. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Sorry. It's okay. Should have known it from the looks of his car. You ever see those cars out on the highway? You just give them a little extra room. Looks like they've been sideswiped a couple times while texting. You know, you just give them a little extra room. You know, I should have known. I don't watch out for those guys. Yeah. 
Oof. The F-150 has 228,000 miles on it. It runs fine. Damn, dude. My buddy, uh, my friend was telling me about the Toyotas are coming out with a new hybrid minivan. I have to take a look. Now that I'm, now that I'm a dad and everything. I spent 70 grand on a minivan. <laughs> Uh, we don't have a baby seat in the, uh, Ford Escape. We put that in, uh, my wife's, uh, RAV4. But it's, it's spacious. It wouldn't be ideal for toting kids around, but... Hey, Kadar, welcome. Leader's pity? Okay. The gap to Cox in front is now 1.3 seconds. Big gap to my Cox. Dude, I like minivans. Samantha doesn't, though. Like, they're friggin' awesome. Okay, man, to keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. My goal with this race was just to have fun and finish the race, you know? Can't expect to uh, do too well. I mean, I am the number 21 car, so. I've got a pit in three laps if I can make it three. D14. I'd be able to beat this guy, he's pretty slow on the straights. Trick, are you mentally retarded? Doesn't have to be diagnosed. Hey, Sam. I cannot believe we're gonna have to report that. What the fuck? Oh boy. There's an incident in turn six. You think it might be Wanda? Issues. <laughs> If that's if that can happen, I I don't know. We'll see how this winner goes. Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. My mm, better box this lap. Not because my spotter said so. It's because I decided to. Matt, in turn five is the fourth gear, and turn nine is third gear best for the Ford. Oh boy, I don't know those corners by heart. I 
No, this is five. Okay, Matt. Is it past the class car approaching? Oh, that was five. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't drive the Ford. Yes? No! Wow. Oh, Two Oh, look at this guy. Freaking legend. Real life commentator. Actual vision. Hey, Luke. Thanks, buddy. Hope all is well. We're pitting this lap. Pitting in. The leader, Minto, is pitting. We don't need that much fuel. Okay, that's good. Get a haircut, you hippie. I'm gonna get a mullet. And no one can stop me. Pitting in, pitting in this time. Slower class car ahead. Oh, he's pitting too. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Your lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Box yeah. in 370. Dude, meters. I could rack a mullet. I mean, I have enough hair for it. You just get a cut on the sides. Yep, baby and Sam doing all good. Yep, definitely. Box I mean, in five. Four, best as we can do. Three. Two. Baby crying all the one. time. <laughs> Box now. Fill her up, Johnny. Hey, well, yeah, we're doing great. 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes to go. Go, go, go. I can beat this guy. Come on, we can do it. There's only 14 minutes left in the race. Text is clear. Don't cross the white line. I'm confused. You didn't have a mullet before? No. <laughs> How long until babies get out of the super crying stage? I don't know. Never had one before. Probably like when they're six years old. Then once they turn nine, they start crying again. The grass must be dry today. Always fucking DP. <laughs> you got a court subscriber in that race. exciting the trace is, you know. Uh, it's too hot for long hair, Matt. Yeah, no, it gets a little hot at work. Coming up on a slower class car. Don't hurt me.
And the carousel is so much fun, eh? The hippies have short hair these days, eh? You gotta go against the trend. I totally, I totally understand where the mullet came from. Cause I'm growing out my hair. I haven't cut it forever. And the parts that are annoying is that it's a little long in the front and a little long on the sides. But the back doesn't bother me, right? So you would just cut the sides in the front, and you know, just for convenience. And then there you go. That's a mullet. So I see how it came about. Down here? I heard something. Okay, Matt, you're reeling Cox in the gaps now. One point Tires go off fast. Ten minutes to go. That's yeah, ten especially minutes when you drive like Enjoy me. Your Wait for the chances to come, mate. Incident in turn eight. You shouldn't breastfeed live on the stream, Samantha. Nothing like you, thank you. Very cute. Cutest, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? She is scary. Slower class car ahead. What is this foreign place? Yeah. Show her the logo. Cox ahead is increasing. It's now 2.1. Yeah, cool, huh? You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. <laughs> Car right. Clear right. She can't really see stuff. Just the other day, she recognized what the ceiling fan is. She likes the fan. Yeah, she likes the fan. Such a cute little family you got there. Yeah, and then you add in the uh, decrepit dog. So here's the story of my day today, Samantha. I race a BMW fixed race at Interlagos where I was in third place and then something happened with the internet connection to where when I crossed the start finish line, it put me in 13th place lap down. No! And then I got a black flag, so that was great. No! Don't, don't COVID cough on me, Ellie. And then my second race, uh, it was an open wheeler at this track. And I uh, got yeah, caught up in some shenanigans. You were doing shenanigans like this? Don't hit me! Like that? And I finished the race though, so that was good. In this race, I'm the number 21 car. I'm basically in last place, but I'm having fun. And I'm driving the Ford. I keep turning her body so she's looking at the camera, but she just wants to look at the Goo Goo Gaga! 
Yeah. See, I can talk to her. Right side. Yeah, wrong language. Clear right. Yeah, there she is. Aren't you just the cutest thing you've ever seen? She is really cute. Stop yeah. overdriving the entry. Yes. You know, truck temperature's falling. It's now 108. I can drive this track with a Ferrari. <laughs> Look at the camera. You have to learn how to look at the camera. Oh boy. Captain Cox. Ahead is now. I hope no one thinks I'm racist, but all babies look alike. Get out. They don't look alike. Baby lives matter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were saying that one day. Uh, gonna, babies don't all look alike, trust me. We're gonna make a BLM flag with a pacifier on it. Confuse everybody. Baby lives matter. Hey, yeah, look at this guy. On your right. Mind if I do. GT3 guy. Babies don't all look alike. This baby doesn't look like Matthew looks. Matthew? <laughs> Matthew looks. <laughs> I'm not gonna I had a big old head on me. Big old nagging. Remember what I said about you? Go to the store, find okay, the biggest the watermelon you have, left. paint it with white paint. That's what I looked like as a baby. It looked like somebody put his head on a board to stretch it out. <laughs> he was hey. born with a really, really yes, big yes. head. I mean, he still has it. Had a big head? Yeah. <laughs> big D, thank you for the host, man. She was eight pounds even. Eight pounds flat. I'm sorry, Greg, you're not gonna get my area rating that easy. Eight point zero point zero two ounces, right? Yeah. Or, no, just point two ounces. Never ask a woman. Hello, Wayne. Look at the camera, you have to look away. Remember the first time the stream met Ellie? Yeah. She was screaming. Ah. Yeah. Lap lap time was 207.02. Oh, 32 is 1.9 off the pace. Don't put those on there. It's okay. We don't need a reenactment. We remember. All right, put them on it now. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> it's not going so well. Okay. Okay, we, thanks for visiting. Goodbye. We won't mean you. You're not a mean baby. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Okay, Matthew. Okay. okay. I'm kidding. I'm gonna rip her diaper open on your stream and dump <laughs> it on you. That sounds like it's some way against TOS. No. It's a first time thing. They can't kick it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First offense, they get get you away with a warning. Hey, 14th place isn't so bad, right, Ellie? Trust me, Ellie, I'm a better race car driver than this. This is unacceptable, Father. <sighs> you bring shame to this family. I just want you to be proud of your dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's not proud of me. Dang it. She'll never call me her hero. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? I remember when I was the loudest person in the house. You still are. I... This lights up. <laughs> Dad's got to put a seizure warning in this video. That's five minutes of fuel left. <laughs> oh, good times. She's not the first person to react that way for your driving. Yeah. What are you talking about? Two to go. Finishing this race, it says we're going to have 0.16 gallons left. Two, two. That's pretty good. When are you finishing that? Uh, there's a minute 50 remaining. You don't want to stay for the end, Ellie? Okay, I love you, family. What a gaggle. Our flag gaggle. Polly, want a cracker? Polly, want a cracker? Good way, man. 
party had to be like Yeah, Kelly. No, not you. You don't know everything you say is directed towards you anymore, Helen. Yeah, I know. Swamp Man, thank you so much for nine months. That's how long it took Ellie to be born. Bye, guys. Okay, goodbye. I love you. Love you. Told you I had sex, chat. That's proof. Oh well, at least they had some uh, break in the action there. I don't know if I did this race again, which I won't. Uh, I do in the BMW. Might have been Ray. Your wife had sex, and that's true. Me, Mari Povich. Well, I think she looks a lot like your mailman. My mailman is a female! Try Big Barry. Yeah, I miss you guys. Man, it's, you know what really sucks, seriously, about this whole uh, COVID thing? I just wish I didn't have an essential job. I could be making unemployment plus $600 plus streaming full time this whole freaking time. That's what really bugs me, dude. You know? That's the shit that bugs me. Oh well. It is what it is. Hundred hours ended yesterday. Uh, I thought they extended it, or uh, like they extended it, but at a lower rate. I work in the construction business. They be building. They didn't stop. You need to push it. We're gonna hold this position. Oh, they changed it to two hundred. Probably a good idea. Good or it's not a Constructing anything good? Uh, it's just a candy. Uh, it's for candy. Two liters remaining. Candy! That's two Packaging minutes, center two and a minutes. distribution center for candy! And across the streets, Facebook, which I'm not working on, but. What's funny, Explode, is that one of the guys that we kind of work for out on the job site, it, we call him Bob the Builder. His name's Bob. He's a good guy. All right, guys, there you go. Matt Malone in the Ford GTE here at Road America crosses the line in 14th place with that beautiful number 21 car with just enough fuel. He fought a hard battle, had to make his way around some GT3 cars and some babies that ran out onto the track, but he did well and he made his family proud and his country proud. And I stand for the national anthem. No. Matt's the dozer boy. I watched the dozer. All right, there you go. Woof, that was rough. Well, sorry I didn't have pace, guys. You live in one. Turkey Timeline brought to you by Pampers, ensuring nothing gets wet. Okay. And if it pops up in the uh, Turkey Timeline, it'll show it. Oh no, Brandon. It's not good. And whoever's on top of that leaderboard wins $12 iRacing credits. We'll find out who the winner is. Yeah, that's true, Elias. Yeah. I 
Imagine the state of iRacing 12 years from now. Or 18 years from now. Hell, even 10 years from now. It's gonna be amazing. Oh! Not so lucky this time, were you, Lucky Strike? Full motion rigs will be commonplace and portable. I might have to disagree with that. I think the bigger the rigs get, the smaller they're going to make them. That, is, that may not seem like it makes any sense. But think about people, uh, you know, uh, they're, you know, they're going to have laptops with uh, just little steering wheels. I'm telling you, this old direct drive thing, you got to have a lot of room to have a rig, you know? I see what you're saying, though, with the motion rig and have it portable and small. Definitely go small because, uh, you know, people are going to be living in, in tiny shacks, you know, in uh, tent cities. You know, there's not even going to be enough food. And they're going to have a small little air living area, so they're going to have to have something small, you know. Yeah, they shoot it all into your brain. Yeah, you literally just sit on the couch motionless, and it feels like you're uh, racing. Yeah, that's right. In 10 years, we'll be on tire model V7. I'm getting some sleep, cowboy, yeah. Uh, I guess. I mean, not enough, but... I mean, it's enough, but it'd be nice to have more, yeah? <laughs> and the way I understand it, you only get like a day or two at the most to catch up on sleep. After that, you, you can't... You can't, like, catch up on it. So those days are just lost. Does my hair flick swap sides? No. Are you watching in a mirror? Oof. And the Ford getting hot and heavy with that BMW. As we got a third car into the mix, he almost causes a major wreck. And the Ford not happy about that move from the Beamer. As he shows his frustration with a flash of the lights. Hey, Cowboy. Good to see you, man. Hey, Andrew Brown. How you doing? Wet dreams are the reason you take care of business before bed. Oh, that was me trying to get around that guy. Yeah, that guy had it rough there. Oh, man. I could have ended my race right there. I'm doing good. Andrew, I'm doing good. I miss streaming, but just so damn busy. It's tough. The Audi getting going wide and two Audis getting to a major wreck coming out of the carousel. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That was rough, huh? Let's watch it again here. <laughs> yeah, if you get on throttle too early, see how wide he's coming out and you just get into the grass there. It's game over, man. That's funny, though. One more time. Yes. <laughs> Finny. You introduced me to the Audi 90 in Name That Combo. Been racing it ever since. Really? The Audi 90 is the four-wheel drive one that races with the Nissan and Camel, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, it's an old-school car. I haven't driven it very much, but it is fun. Saturdays at 10 Pacific time... Yeah, they always do, like, an official broadcasted race, eh? The Nissan. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Nissan? Americans just call it Nissan. I say Nissan. I, 
call them Datsuns. Yeah. Nissan. Nissan. Just call it not gonna drive it. No, that uh the Nissan in iRacing with that camel, that old school, it's got turbo in it. That car is a handful. It's so much fun to drive. It can be so rewarding, but man, it wants to kill you. Every time that turbo kicks in, it wants to kill you. I guess that's what makes it fun. Oh! It's always a DP, huh? Eh? Is that where he asks him if he's retarded? Car 2 incident. You're gonna have to give me a lap. You gotta, do you know what lap it was on? Oh! Patrick, oh are you mentally retarded? Oh! Number 2 car. It was his last lap. Alright, we'll look for it quick. Such a nice guy. I think it was right here, eh? Hey there. Number two car is the Ford. Is this what we just watched? <laughs> yeah, we just watched that. It did come up in the turkey timeline. You weren't paying attention. The DP gets in the grass and he just gets it shoved over. And then it looks like we have retaliation. Yeah, that's Patrick, retaliation. Are you mentally retarded? Patrick Heinrich, that was retaliation. And iRacing staff will definitely look into that and you will serve zero consequences. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the results, shall we? Oh, I didn't get a screenshot. Shit. Uh, Matt Malone, minus 19 I rating, plus, here's, here's, here's the positive news, plus 0.22 safety rating. See? See how that works? All right, guys. If you wow. enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe Happy button. Happy birthday. Happy birthday? Well, thank you. Hey, I don't have any YouTube members, okay? Quit giving people shout-outs that aren't paying me any money. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if they are or not. Thanks for watching. Click more. Bye.